I don't know how many of you, please everybody take your seats and don't know this no more distraction. Please stop going up and down. Let us respect and reverence and acknowledge the peculiar concentrated presence of our God and our Father. I don't know if you know that salvation is higher than education. Let's see the book of Daniel, chapter 5, verse 12. Daniel, chapter 5, verse 12. For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, interpreting of dreams and showing of hard sentences, Dissolving of doubts were found in the same Daniel, whom the king named Bethsaida. Now let Daniel be called, and he will show the interpretation. Right where you are, I want you to listen to me attentively and intently and earnestly. I think enough of this mediocrity. Let's go for what we design to achieve. I don't know whether you know that Daniel was declared a man more powerful than all the witches and wizards. And I want you to hear me also. Now having given your life to Christ, you have begun a great journey. And you are no longer an ordinary person. Say amen. amen. How many of you believe that you are no longer an ordinary person? Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. We take chapter 28. We take verse 1. What does it say? And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of your God and observe, your Father. To observe. To observe, to do. All his commandments. All his commandments. Which I command thee this day. Which he commands us this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above how many all of you, nations. How many of you would like God to set you on high? Sorry. All our guests who came in from Port Harcourt and in Ohafia, if you are within this hall, can you please stand up? You are among the women delegates. Can you march to this altar? I want to pronounce a blessing over you. And whatever I will say over you tonight will follow you to your last day on earth. If you are from Port Harcourt, don't kneel down yet. Stand up again. I hear you are about 80 from Port Harcourt. If you are from Port Harcourt, can I see you raise up your hand? One of you, come and count. Uh, where are my people? Come and count these hands raised up. Pastor Joe, come and count them. Let's know how many they are. I didn't say drop your hand. I said raise up your hand. What? 
What did they say? They are 45. You are 45. Don't worry. That number is more than enough. Those of you from Mohafia, can I have you raise up your hand? Count, count them. Count and count loud so that 18, we will, 19, will follow you in your counting. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 36, 27, 28, 29, 30, 50. Come, if you are happy that you have delegates and guests from uh, from Portacot and Ohafia in this number, let me hear you receive them and give them a shout of welcome. Father, whoever amongst them cries over the attack of the enemy shall cry no more. Let the blessings of heaven follow them and overtake them. Whatever the enemy had taken from them shall be returned. Beginning tonight, the enemy shall mock them no more. Yes. Father, when the meeting shall start, may you open the ear to hear you clearly and distinctly and vividly. And each one shall be transformed to the next level of his or her life. Father, wipe away the tears among those who cry. Reveal yourself to them and let them know how much you love them. Father, may they learn how to respond to you. You are already their father and you are their God. In all the battles of life, they shall be more than conquerors. Tonight, they will have profound, deep sleep and it shall be healing sleep. It will take care of every one of them. Father, thank you for making that meeting possible. They cannot travel this distance and be ordinary people. Take them to the next level. And Father, fight for them. And speak for them. May they know who you are and what you can do and how much you love them and how much you care. Father, they are no longer ordinary girls. They are now daughters of the Almighty God. They will lack nothing. Father, bless them beyond their expectation. By asking Jesus' name. As you go back to your seats, may God begin to bless you in a multiplied, ever increasing manner. Give them a good clap up from everybody. No, I don't like the way you are clapping.
after me and just say, whether my enemies like it or not, I am blessed of the Lord. At my appearance, every closed door shall open for me. Every stone the enemy shall throw at me shall now become my stepping stone to greatness. No witch can bewitch me. No wizard can stop me. In every battle I fight, I shall be more than a conqueror. It shall be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Spirit of God, and of the Holy Ghost. Give the Lord a good clap of from somebody. Take your seats. Let's go to the book of Daniel chapter 5. We take verse 11. Bring out your pain. And bring out your notebook. I'm going to ask you to write down most of the things I will say, if not all the things I will say. I don't know whether you know knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Daniel 5.11 There is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. And in thee, in the day of thy father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods was found in him, whom the king Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, the king, I say thy father, made master of the magicians, astrologers, chaldeans, and soothsayers. Any uncle who is who is of the occultic world shall become powerless in your presence. You are ten times more than what they are. And therefore, you must fear them no more. This God shall fight all your battles. If you believe it, say amen. Let me hear. The Bible said he, let's see the book of Daniel chapter 2. And we take verse 22. Chapter 2, verse 22. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness. And the light dwelleth with him. The light dwells with him. As a child of God, you are not an ordinary person. The light of God dwells in you. And in your presence, every hidden thing shall be made known to you. We have been studying about the Spirit of God and what the Spirit of God can do for you. I, tonight, I want to speak about the outstanding spirit of your father upon you. As a child of God, you are not an ordinary person. When God will grant you his revelational knowledge of who you are, you know that no enemy can block your way. That's what this great God wants you to know. Let's see Daniel chapter 5 verse 12. Let's see what God said about Daniel. Yes, sir. Chapter 5, let's take verse 12. Daniel 5, verse 12. For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding. Excellent spirit and knowledge. And understanding. And understanding. 
interpreting of dreams interpreting of dreams and showing of hard sentences yes and dissolving of doubts yes were found in the same daniel were found in daniel whom the king and named shall be Caesar. found in you i i told you of the dream i saw last night and i called for those that God revealed to me. You saw the number of those who came out. What does that mean? It means when you are alone, you are not quite alone. Your father is with you. When your enemies will threaten you, don't forget that your father is by your side. And he will fight for you. He will grant you revelational knowledge of the darkness and of the witchcraft spirits and when you will receive his own understanding of what the enemy is trying to do, you'll be an overcomer and more than a conqueror. This night as we speak, you are already more than a conqueror. Therefore, in every battle you will fight in this life, you'll be more than a conqueror. Raise your hand and say, I shall be more than a conqueror in the battles of life. No man born of a woman shall intimidate me or frighten me, for I am more than a conqueror. For my father is, so I am. Yes, sir. have you read the book of then chapter? Let's see Luke chapter 2, verse 47. Luke chapter 2, verse 47. Go on. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. Go on. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought the sorrowing and he said unto them how is it that ye sought me wist ye not that I must be about my father's business <laughs> Jesus left his father and mother to work for his father who called him right where you are and wherever you will ever be the eyes of our God shall only be upon you. To give you direction and instruction. To show you how to be more than a conqueror. Yes. Let's, let's run to a very beautiful place. Um, the book of Exodus chapter 35. Let's take verse 30 through 32. Yes, sir. Exodus and Moses said unto thee, unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord had called by name Basileel, the son of Uri, the son of Or, of the tribe of Judah. And he had filled him with the Spirit of God. He had filled him with the Spirit of God. Everyone who had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Everyone who has been given the Spirit of the Lord, you are carrying with you the Spirit of God. You are no longer an ordinary person. Heaven knows you and knows what you are going through. And this God who is your Father stands by you to fight for you. With God on your side, you cannot lose any battle. Therefore, raise your hand and say, I shall never lose any battle. For my God is by my side. Go on, sir. In wisdom. In wisdom. In understanding. In understanding. And in knowledge. And in knowledge. And in all manner of workmanship. All manner of workmanship. Go on. And to devise curious works. Yes. 
to walk in gold to walk in gold and in silver and in silver and in brass and in brass and in the cutting of stones in the cutting of stones to set them and in carving of wood to make any manner of corning work yes and he had put in his heart that he may teach both he and Aholiab, the son of Aishama, of the tribe of Dan, them had he filled with wisdom of heart to walk all manner of work of the engraver and of the cunning workman and of the embroiders in blue and in purple, in scarlet and in fine linen, and of the weaver, even of them that do any work, and of those that devise cunning work. I don't know whether you know that wisdom plus dis discretion equals excellence. Whatever you need to become who God wants you to be, those things are already made available to you. All you need to do is ask God for counsel and advice. Call God to help you. Tell God you need him. Whatever you need to fulfill the purpose of your creation, this God will supply to the last thing. Say to somebody by your side, I'm not an ordinary person. Okay, I said everybody. Okay, this is a, a secretary. Tell somebody. Whatever you need to become what God wants you to be is already made available to you. And therefore, fear not, for the Lord is with you. Can you raise your hand and just say, I will fear no enemy, for the Lord is with me. You have excellent spirit. You have an anointing <clears throat> that shows you the weakness of your enemies. You also have an unction that shows you how to fight the battles of life. And therefore, in every battle you embark upon, you are already more than a conqueror. Yeah. If you believe, you raise your hand and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We have heard about the spirit of the fear of the Lord. One thing I want you to do is to recognize the great noble fact that in life the the root of your tree determines the health of your life every tree has a root the bible calls it the fear of the lord every believer is afraid of the lord no believer wants to offend God. And that fear is of God. It is a warning that you should be careful. All those who fear the Lord shall be protected by God. You are the root of the tree you are. And this God will fight on your side. Right where you are this night, I want to ask you, is there anything you want God to do for you this night? Let me see your hand raised up if you have something you want God to do for you. Number two, have you recognized the peculiar concentrated presence of God where you are? You are not alone. Your master is by your side. In the Bible says, do what? Fear not. For what? For I am with you. Some of us panic, even when we know we are not alone. This night, promise me, you fear no enemy anymore. What did I say? You fear what? Can we 
we see the book of Hebrew chapter 13, we'll take with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hebrew chapter 13. What does it say, sir? Verse 5. Let your conversation, Let be, your without conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as ye have. Be happy with what God has blessed you with. For he hath wait, said. Wait, wait. Don't join those who go about saying, I wish I were as tall as that sister. You don't have to be as tall as she is. Every one of God has his own calling. God will call you to work for him according to your height. He will not make you as tall as any other person. Number two, there are people who go about saying God has called them to the ministry of John the Baptist. It's a lie. God cannot call a living man into the ministry of another living man. All of us shall be called alone. You walk through your own destiny alone. And this God shall be by your side. The, a, a young man came to see me yesterday. He said, and he said a powerful prophet told him that the ministry I'm running now is the ministry God has called him into. That, he, that God wants him to be like Oma. And I said, it's a lie. If you're going to be like me, you have to take my problems along with you. He said, no, keep your problems. Just help me be like you. This is not possible. There was no John the Baptist again after the fourth John the Baptist. Am I correct? Was there any other Paul? That teaching is, is not valid. It's not of God. Just as you are, God saw you, liked you, called you. He will fight all the battles of fighting with his own strength and energy and power. You don't need to be like any other person. Just be yourself and be faithful to God. Let the fear of the Lord control your weakness and respect this God. Number three. In every battle you're fighting, God already knows how it will end. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Read, let's see the end of that Bible passage. Chapter 13. For he hath said, He has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Stand up, say to two persons, He will never leave you nor forsake you.
book of Genesis chapter 4, 41, verse 39. Children, be quiet. Genesis chapter 41, verse 39. Children, be quiet. Read on. Genesis 41, verse 39. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God had showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Already excellent spirit has been enthroned in the life of many of us. You may have things against yourself, but God has the ability to cure you of those things that distract you. And so, wisdom plus discretion equals excellence. When God, God does not call the perfect, he perfect those who have been called. If God has called you to follow him, whatever is your problem, God will take care of it. No, say the amen well. And this fallen spirit has been enthroned upon you. And that spirit will guide you and lead you. You make good thing of the call of God upon your life. He will not allow your weakness to overcome you. He will turn your weakness into good strength. And you'll be more than a conqueror. Right where you are. All I want from you tonight is to say to God, if I have offended you, forgive me. And give me another chance. This night, God is ready to give you another chance. You must make heaven. You must, you must be of great, of great reputation and calling. You'll be more than successful. He who called you knows your weakness, but can turn your weakness into great strength. You will make it. You will succeed. You will be who God wants you to be. And this night, I want you to tell God you're ready to obey him totally and completely and implicitly. You are ready to obey him no matter what he commands you to do. You will not fail. With him by your side, you will not fail. No, you didn't, the, the amen is uh, yeah. right where you are. As many of us as are determined to continue the journey of salvation, I want you to raise your hand and say to God, "Don't, don't abandon me, but." Lead me to the end. From now henceforth, I shall obey you. I will obey you completely and totally and implicitly. Therefore, help me. Turn my weakness into strength. And grant me good understanding of what you want me to do. Help me to succeed. Help me to be more than a conqueror. In every battle of life, with you by my side, I shall overcome every weakness and every enemy. Those who believe they will overcome, with God standing beside them, can you stand up? Take five minutes. Promise God you will, you will not disappoint him. Tell him you will obey him completely and totally and implicitly and in everywhere and in any way, tell him you are determined to be the best among the best. Tell him with, the, with this excellent spirit of his upon you, you will be more than a conqueror. Can we all talk to him and 
speak to him and ask for help and ask for assurance that he will never leave you. Shall we pray? Everybody, I want you to talk to him as you will talk to your father. Let him know you understand and you believe him. And you obey him and follow him to the end. Already the end is beautiful for you are more than a conqueror. Talk to him.
Our enemies be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, side on my left hand side everyone who is crying in his or her heart say God don't pass me by let your anointing be released to him or her and let the yoke be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken the power of God in the name of Jesus, move! Father, endure your people with your anointing and your unction. Father, fight for them. Father, fight for them. Father, fill them with your spirit. And they shall be more than conquerors. Father, fight for your people. And make them overcomers. Father, let your spirit. Somebody help. Somebody help us. Father, let your spirit come upon your children. And let them be filled with your person and your anointing and your unction and your spirit. Father, only you can make the powerless powerful. Only you can make the weak strong. Therefore, as we step into the remaining months of the year, your children shall be more than conquerors. Father, arise! Father, arise! Father, arise! Father, arise! And fight for your children. And let them be more than conquerors. Father, they have already become overcomers. In every battle they will fight, they will win. They have won already. May they continue to win, 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 to win. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Somebody help, somebody help. There are ten more. There are ten more, ten more. There are ten more. Somebody help. That's three remaining seven. How many? That's three remaining seven. That's number four. That's number five. How many? That's number six remaining four. Father, there are four more. Let those four persons be emboldened and be empowered. They will win every battle that comes their way. They will win in every battle that comes their way. Father, arise and destroy their weakness. That's number 10. That's number 10. That's number 10. That's number 11. 11. Father, fill them with your spirit. And let the enemy know that they are no longer ordinary people. Father, the remaining days of the year shall be our days of victory. 
Father, make everyone who is still standing more than a conqueror. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being our Father. Father, we love you. And we shall always love you. For you have always been by our side. And you have always encouraged us. That for no man shall intimidate us. We shall fear no man. For there is nothing an ordinary man can do to us. Thank you for being our God and our Father. Thank you for filling us with your spirit. We shall fear no more. We shall always depend on you. In every battle we fight, we know we shall be more than conquerors. Father, thank you. Amana, eye na basi amana bahi. Amana, eye na basi amana soso mo. Amana, amana mo, eye na basi amana mo. Amana soso mo, amana mo, amana mo, eye na basi amana mo soso. Amana mo, amana mo, amana mo, amana mo. Whatever we shall ever go, we shall win every battle on our path. No man born of a woman shall defeat us. Father, thank you for the privilege to be your child. Thank you for your love for us. Father, we will, not, we will never disappoint you. We shall be faithful. We shall be dependable. We shall be reliable. Thank you for filling us with your anointing, your unction, your spirit. Therefore, in every battle of life, we shall be more than conquerors. Thank you for I ask in Jesus' name. for me. Father, we love you. And we shall remain faithful as long as we live. Thank you for calling us to follow you. We shall obey you and save you with every strength we can muster. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Can we shout hallelujah three times?
How many of you have enjoyed tonight's service? Tell, turn to the person by your side. Tell him, no man born of a woman shall defeat me. I am more than a cock -holo. For the Lord is with me. And will fight all my battles. In Jesus' name. Take your seat. The chairman will come up and dismiss us. But remember, every night we want to give up our dinner to support the women in their program. I would like you to support them by giving up your dinner every night until they are gone. And please, if you're a woman, make sure you listen to the messages they will preach and be an example of what a wonderful woman of God can be. Let others learn from you and copy from you and be all that God wants you to be. All the leaders, the women leaders, uh, those who are coming from outside and those who are here in Uyo, as soon as we are dismissed, I would like to meet you to know how you bring food to your guests. I'll be waiting for you in the office. Thank you for making this your meeting possible. This God will bless you and promote you and anoint you and make you a weapon in the mighty hands of our God. Say that amen well, somebody. Amen.